Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Brian, the UK Bitcoin master, with another video in my Bitcoin for Beginners series. Uh, today's Monday the 28th of May 2018 and it's my birthday. So feel free to drop a comment below wishing me a happy birthday. That'll be super. Um, as Adam Meister always says, strong hand. Buy, hold, think 2020. Long-term thinking, delayed gratification. If you don't understand what the term is 2020 or the Bitcoin halving, then you need to be finding out about that. And that is what we're referring to as long-term thinking. Um, as always, please like this video, share the video, subscribe to my channel, um, hit the bell button so you get any notifications uh, when I um, upload a video or do anything live as well. You can also find me on Twitter at UK Bitcoin Master and on Steemit um, at Buzz27. OK, so what are we going to cover on today's show? OK, I want to talk to you about Bitcoin versus blockchain. And there is a real difference, guys. Everybody, all we hear about is blockchain, 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 blockchain. And whilst the technology is fantastic, it's really important that you try and understand the difference between Bitcoin and blockchain in general. So what I want to do on this video is to try and help you newbies to get a sort of basic understanding of what blockchain is. And as always, I'll pop a link below this video um, to something out there on YouTube that can elaborate on what I'm going to take you through and get help you to get a basic understanding of what blockchain is. But I'm going to deliver it in the best way I know how for new people. If you're not a newbie following this channel, if you're a techie, if you've been around a while, this is not going to be the video for you guys. I'm really angling and aiming this at newbies into the space. So, Blockchain is basically like a chain link fence, the way I describe it, or a chain of blocks, blocks that are linked together. And all that happens is information or data is entered onto those blocks and it's stored there and it's public and anyone can see it. And blockchain technology originated in 1991, but for the most it was really unused. But it came into its own in 2009 when Satoshi Nakamoto, you know, he, she, they, whatever it is, um, produced their white paper and Bitcoin was born. So a blockchain is what we call a distributed ledger, which is open to anyone. So you make a financial transaction, a Bitcoin transaction, for want of a better word, and it is recorded on the blockchain. Now, in simple terms, when a block is full, they start another block and they get linked together. And it's just a series of blocks in a, in a chain um, that no one controls. You know, it is open source. Um, anyone can see it. Anyone can make changes to it. But you cannot change what's been entered onto the blockchain. So once something's been entered onto the blockchain, it is very hard to remove it. So you make a transaction. Um, the Bitcoin um, community, if you will, all the computers around the world have to verify um, the transaction to make sure you are who you say you are, the per that you know that the wallet is going to is there. And once it's done, it is on the blockchain forever. Okay, so like I've said, as one block fills up, then it starts another block. So what I want to emphasize at this point is Bitcoin is king, not blockchain. And I want to explain why. Like I've said, a blockchain is very popular today all around the world and everyone's talking about blockchain. But most people have got no idea of the fundamental difference between blockchain and Bitcoin, or in other words, something that's centralized or something that is decentralized. And that is what I'll explain to you on this video. Okay. I hear it all the time, you know, banks and big multinationals and conglomerates are all starting to produce their own blockchains to, you know, do their music industry or their banking or whatever it is. You know, 
nations are saying, oh, we need to build a blockchain. And whilst that's fantastic for the overall um, awareness of this new technology, what you need to understand about a blockchain that is produced by a company or a bank or something of that nature is it's centralized. When something, banks are centralized, you know, companies are centralized. When something is centralized, there can be a point of failure. Um, you know, bodies and um, police, whatever it is, they can go in and raid the offices of a company or a bank that's centralized and they can stop it trading. They can shut it down. OK, so when something is centralized, it means there is somewhere a central point of failure, okay? It can be hacked. Then when you look at Bitcoin, which sits on its own blockchain, Bitcoin, there is no offices. I've said this before in previous videos. There are, there are no CEOs. There, are, there is not a company to go and raid their offices um, because it is decentralized. Bitcoin... And its blockchain is simply hundreds, thousands and millions of computers all around the world. That is all it is. So whilst it's open source, you know, and anyone, you know, that understands and a tech savvy can go in and look at the blockchain because it is open source. They can make changes to it. They can fork off if they want to and make changes to the protocol and, and you know, produce their own coin if they want to. But most of those will fail and go to the wall, as I'll talk to you about um, in, in a future video coming up. Um, but Bitcoin is the rock because it is the one that's been around since 2009. It has got some of the most brilliant minds in the world working on its development. It cannot be raided, taken down, shut down, or anything like that. So the message from this video from me is do not get fooled into blockchain. Do not get fooled into companies that say we've got the next blockchain technology because pretty well all of them are going to be centralized and will have a point of failure, which means if there's a point of failure, you could end up losing your money, your hard earned money that you've invested in to that blockchain. Um, you'll hear me on every single video. Bitcoin is your rock. It is the king. It is the one that's stood the test of the last almost decade and is only just getting started. And it is going to go from strength to strength. And mark my words, and a lot of the commentators like myself that are as close to Bitcoin maximalist as you can get, Bitcoin is the one that's going to stand the test of time. It is the one that everything is going to be built on top of. So my advice, if you're going to invest into the cryptocurrency world, don't invest into blockchain technology. Don't invest into uh, ICOs. And we'll talk about that on a future video. Invest your money into Bitcoin. Buy what you can. Buy it. Hold it. Remember the 2020 halving. Have a strong hand through the ups and the downs. Don't watch the charts all the time because they'll just screw with your head. I probably watch the charts once a week. I don't care if Bitcoin goes down in the short term because over the long term, it is going to grow and grow and grow. And if you buy hold, have that strong hand, I promise you in one, two, three, four, five, ten years, whatever your plan is, you're going to have a great big smile on your face. Forget blockchain, forget ICOs, invest your money into Bitcoin. That is today's show, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Again, share the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button. Follow me on Steemit at Buzz27. Follow me on Twitter at UK Bitcoin Master. And until the next time, have yourselves a super wonderful Bitcoin day. I'm now going to go and enjoy my birthday. Have a good one, everyone. Bye for now.